Pat, some researchers think that they've been able now to pinpoint the most depressing age. And it's just about the same time when those sporty convertibles start to look really cool. KCAL 9's Lena Wynn now is here. She's got details on all of this. Hello, Lena. Hi, Rick. This British study uh, suggests that uh, the happiness and depression follow a U-shape, where we start out pretty happy, we decrease into this midlife depression, and then we get happier as we grow older. They studied 2 million people in 80 different nations. They found the same U-shape pattern. However, the United States, the only country that showed a significant difference between men and women. Life may begin at 40, but new research says immediately after that, the darkest years start. A worldwide study pins the age of depression, a real midlife crisis, at 44. The core of most of our depression in midlife has to do with who am I now and what do I really want. Dr. Sherry Meyer says that's when our lives change. All our values begin to shift. If we were parents, suddenly our kids are growing. If we have had goals, suddenly here we are in midlife, whether we've accomplished them and then we go, is that all there is? Or we haven't accomplished them and then we feel like a failure. And scientists say most people will experience the depression, regardless of sex, marital status, wealth, or children. Although the study doesn't offer a reason, Dr. Myers says it can be mental or biological. Our hormones are shifting, so suddenly women have less estrogen, men have less testosterone, and things start shifting in our brains and in our bodies so that many of us experience a literal dip. Women in the U.S. usually hit that dip around 40, and men closer to 50. But suddenly you're more tired, you're not sleeping well, you're not eating, you don't feel like eating, the things that used to bring you joy don't bring you joy anymore, and you're just feeling overall, ugh. The first thing you need to do is go get a checkup. And they say that this depression doesn't come on suddenly, and it can take years to pass, but the good news is that when it does pass, then you're on the upswing again, the other side of that you, saying the 70 is the new 20. Experts say we're happier in our older age because our expectations have changed. We're just happy to be healthy then. Live in Studio City tonight, Lena Wynn, KCAL 9 News, back to you.